Salut, eu sunt Silviu, azi e joi și nu, azi e vineri și săptămâna asta mă întorc cu un nou clip de la Timișoara, haideți să vă postez despre ce e vorba. Acum vreo săptămână jumate am fost la Timișoara unde a trebuit să prezint un festival de teatru și pe lângă asta mi s-a spus că trebuie să-mi pregătesc un monolog plecând de la citatul următor. Nu mi-aduc aminte exact care este, dar o să-l pun aici pe ecran să-l vedeți voi. A, ideea e că mi-a ieșit un material destul de fain. M-am inspirat puțin din seria Assassin's Creed pentru că eu sunt un mare fan și când am văzut citatul am zis hmm, se potrivește cu ce s-a întâmplat prin jocuri. Menționez acest lucru pentru cazul în care există fani Assassin's Creed care se uită la clipul ăsta. Nu de alta, dar sigur dacă nu menționez o să găsească câte unul, bă, ai copiat totul din seria Assassin's Creed. Nu, n-am făcut asta și o să vezi imediat de ce. Nu mai lungim, hai să vedem ce m-a dus pe mine mintea să fac la Timișoara. Hai, 3, 2, 1... N-am mai făcut de mult asta. Do you know what they say of the moment right before you die? They say every person feels when their time approaches. This old man writing over here is me. Well, not technically, because I am his soul. I am his projection into this world. And unlike him, I am immortal. In less than five minutes, I will cut this thread, this tiny little bond that we still have, and he will pass away. He knows that. He's feeling it. And while he's writing his final words, that piece of paper, I'll tell you about me, about him. I'll tell you about us. All my life, I was a fighter with a gun, both in my hand and in my mind. I was forced to watch my loved ones die. And, and I told myself that day, I swear to God, I swear to God the ones responsible will pay with their life. But I was only a child back then, and this anger made me blind. I gave up my freedom, I gave up my youth, I gave up, I gave up my everything to, to, to chase this rage with my eyes closed. But there was one thing I was missing. Years would have passed and I still wasn't able to track down the killers. Slowly but steady, the values I mentioned earlier were going to vanish. Just like that. My youth was no more. I was a man in my mid-thirties when I realized that. My freedom was also gone. My restless search to track down the killers pissed off the wrong people and they wanted me in prison. So I had to walk into the shadows so I don't get caught. And then, after a couple more years, I caught them. I finally caught them and made them pay. Nobody crosses me without consequences. But is this what I fought for almost 20 years to see a few drops of blood on the floor? After so long, I realized that vengeance only clouds one's mind. And so it did to me. My youth desire was fulfilled. But my youth, my youth was no more. You don't know how painful is that. I have continued my life not knowing what to do. But suddenly, I was driven to a feeling I have never felt before. A feeling, I think it was love. There have been too few women in my life, and those who shared my bed had done little more than satisfy a need. And I have yet to meet a woman able to steer those feelings above waist height. By the time I met her, I was in my early 40s. I still remember the day I met her. It was raining, just like today. I was going to a jazz club when we bumped into each other. We dropped our umbrellas and we gazed at one another. Drops of rain were running down her face and I was feeling hypnotized. Hypnotized by what? by drops of water. Every gesture she made was like nectar to me. 
so late in my life, but I was in love. Now, there is one thing I do not understand. How is it that the soul that had been put to his limits all his life did not age? How is it that I am so young in comparison with him? We are the same person after all. And now, the time has come. I'm sorry to do this, my friend. You will be missed. I really hope what he was writing here has the answers I want. When I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, in the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into contentment. Love, liberty, and time once so much at my disposal are the fuels that drive me forward. And love, most especially, my darling, for you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing. Endless affection, my darling, I am forever yours. I understand now. His love for his wife did not let me age. He might be right now an old, dead body, but I will forever be a young soul. Gata și pe săptămâna asta, dacă ți-a plăcut monologul, lasă-mi un comentariu că mai am eu câteva idei și pot să mai fac legat de alte teme. Și da, cam atâta. Nu uitați să abonezi și ca întotdeauna până săptămâna viitoare, ne vedem joi seara la 8. Sau în cazul ăsta bine, dar nu contează.